Okay, here we are again. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, all right, thanks for thanks for watching the show and sell video. Um, super cool. Um, yeah, I got those all packed up and ready to go back to Dory tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I guess I don't know. Maybe I just needed a break or something, but. Suddenly, I'm feeling, you know, super inspired again to work and get some stuff, get some stuff made. And yesterday, uh, which was, I guess, Thursday, um, I showed you guys some, like, fabric washi ideas and stuff like that. Super, super simple stuff. And <clears throat> so I wanted to kind of come back and show you some of the other stuff that I did. Um, I did do a bunch more of the postage stamps. So I just, you know, pulled out my box of stamps and, well, one of my boxes of stamps and applied them kind of randomly, different, like, you know, crookedy and stuff onto some of that double-sided, um, half-inch tape. So I did a bunch of those. I'll probably do a bunch more. And then I just took some strips of some quilt top that I have and um, laid that onto some of that three inch carpet tape so I did like a whole roll of that and um, so that'll that'll last me a while and then I also sat here for well, I don't know it's probably about an hour or so and I did a whole other long strip with the uh, with the hexagons all the old feed sack and different vintage fabrics and stuff from that that little box that I've had for a long time so it's nice to be able to use some of those and these I think I'm going to use some of this and some of this on my readers digests so yeah so I think that's gonna work out pretty nicely and I wanted to make sure I had enough you know because Lord knows how many of those I'm gonna wind up making um, what else did I do? Oh, I did a whole bunch more, uh, I think you guys saw this. I did, I did this one. This was kind of, like, getting warmed up again, but just all kinds of random scraps. And I thought it would be fun to, you know, maybe glue some buttons on these, too. Maybe with, even just with hot glue or something, or that's something I could do you know, later on as I'm using it. Um, just, you know, cut some strips. And um, it's funny, Rosemary uh, messaged me after that video yesterday. And she said, she said, yeah, you want to make sure that when you're cutting that carpet tape, that you're not cutting directly on the tape um, to save your scissors. Um, just cut wherever the fabric is or the paper is. And then it's a lot easier to cut. And she's right. So, <clears throat> uh to make life easier on yourself if you're using that wider carpet tape and you want to make thinner strips just apply your you know whatever it is you want to use on there and then cut it with your scissors um, only wherever you've applied stuff you know um, so you won't gum up your scissors so much it will t it kind of does a little bit but um, but not super bad anyway so then I just did some more Rick Rack Pulled out a bunch of stuff, you know, some little ruffles, just put some tape on them, you know, just applied tape onto some of these things so they're all ready to go. And this is stuff that, you know, I've just had in, um, in bins that, you know, with the intention of using them on journals, but I just never do because it, they're not ready to use, you know, so this will encourage me to uh to use it so yeah so some of them i did just like a real thin little strip with the the eighth inch tape and some with the with the wider half inch and um yeah i did all of this ruffle see i bought this ruffle at uh hobby lobby quite a while ago and you know it's just it just makes it easier to use it you know what i mean Anyway, so I did that, and then nothing new in there, nothing new in there. 
And then I wanted to do some flowers. I mentioned that before. So I used to use paper flowers a lot on covers, uh, journal covers and on my tags and things like that. And I don't know what happened, but for some reason I just kind of stopped using them. And so I, I was like, okay, I think to do some flowers similar to how I did the postage stamps, you know. So I just pulled out a whole bunch of my paper flowers and I thought, you know, let's just, let's just do some, you know. <clears throat> so mostly, these are mostly like smaller paper flowers. I, honestly, I, I've collected these for so long, I don't even really remember where they all came from or anything like that. But I'll be honest, a lot of them came in those cans that you can get at Hobby Lobby. They're uh, Prima flowers. And a lot of these flowers probably did come from Hobby Lobby. Like I know all these ones that have the little pearls, those, those all came from Hobby Lobby. So anyway, so those little cans that you can buy at, uh, at Hobby Lobby, um, they're all Prima flowers, and they're just all different kinds of paper, you know, die-cut flowers. And then there's also usually leaves and stuff in there, too. So anyway, if you don't want to do that and you want to make something like this, you know, you could always just use, like, paper punches, different, different um, you know, shapes of, of paper punches. And then to give them some dimension, you can use, like, a, like a burnishing tool on a piece of foam and, and kind of roll it around on there and it'll make them kind of into like a cup shape sort of like that you know anyway um so basically i did make a couple of these last night but let's just let's just do one now so i just pulled out you know kind of a decent size strip and i want this to be so my idea is that I want to be able to just tear off pieces of this to use on different things, you know. So I thought <clears throat> um, I want to kind of overlap the flowers, you know, so that I have a place uh, where I can tear it in between the flowers and then you won't, you won't see the tape on the, on the ends. I don't know if that makes sense, but you'll see what I mean. So I'm just taking some leaves, just some paper leaves, just kind of sticking them randomly. I think this one is actually fabric. So some of these leaves, I actually uh, wait, actually painted them a long time ago. <laughs> like these ones, I painted those. I think they were some kind of weird color or something. Anyway, so just added some added some some leaves, and then kind of want to just go with like some larger size flowers, and just start like filling it in. So do some larger ones. And it's cool. It just sticks down so easy. And, you know, the other ones that I've done, they, uh, you know, I've kind of tugged on the, tugged on it just to, to see how sturdy it is. And it seems to be holding pretty well. I love these. These are like hydrangea blossoms. Let me use the yellow one. So just adding, and I'm not doing any kind of color scheme at all, just, you know, totally, totally random. But I think it would be pretty to do, um, you know, like some kind of color organized, you know, color scheme. So, okay, and then, then I'm going to go with some slightly larger ones, kind of overlap them. Should I zoom in a little bit? 
yeah, now I just got to remember to stay in. Well, that one's pretty. Setting some aside that I like. So this one's missing one of the petals, but that's okay because I can, can kind of hide that. underneath something else so <clears throat> when I was doing these other ones um, I had my bone folder handy just to just to you know kind of press some of the stuff into the tape a little bit more firmly like with those like a um, not not sharp but just something strong so I could press hard on the on the um, on the flower especially when there's not very much tape to grab it I'll show you what I mean in a minute so like for example like right here I want to put I want to put this flower right here but there's not very much tape that's exposed so I'm just gonna put that on there and then I'm just gonna take my bone folder and really press it down so it's good and stuck even on that little bit of tape let's see let's find some seems like I have a lot of white flowers in here be fun to to even you know paint some of these first Just kind of overlap them, different colors. Trying to cover up pretty much all of the all of the tape too. And I'm trying to give it some dimension where I've got some that are up a little higher, some are a little lower. I can use that. And even these ones that are kind of dimensional. Those work really cool. Just sticking down paper flowers. I want to put this somewhere else. There we go. Kind of overlapping them. And this is so, um, I don't know. This is a lot more... I don't want to be, it's going to sound weird, but it's a lot more girly than what I've been doing lately, if you know what I mean. Like, so I want to add a couple, um, a couple smaller ones. So that one is just barely sticking on to, with that one little petal. I mean, I can always go back and just add some little dots of glue here and there to, um, you know, if I'm concerned about things lifting. And then there's some little teeny tiny ones in here, too. that one right there some of these have like little rhinestones in the centers so they're kind of sparkly this some of these actually have glitter on them too oh here's my here's all my little teeny tiny ones teeny teeny ones a lot of these have like a little center in them like a little bead or something it's a good way to use up a bunch of paper flowers I'll tell you that So right here, like there's just a teeny tiny little bit of tape. 
So I'm going to add just a teeny, teeny, tiny little flower right there. And use the bone folder to stick it down. Blue, a little bit of want a yellow one. A little yellow one to stick right there. My phone's going crazy. And then I'm going to add a little pink one right there too. Missing a little spot there. I want to stick one under this flower and cover up that little bit of tape there. See, isn't it fun? I just think it's super fun. And it'll be useful. Forgot about this end. Whoops, that was actually two. Whoops. tucked one kind of underneath that black one. Let's get another little teeny tiny one to go under here. See, and just kind of layer them all up. Kind of look like, uh, what are those flowers? Um, like forget-me-nots. You know, how they, or what are those other ones? Those little tiny blue ones. Yeah, forget-me-nots. Stick that on there. <laughs> One more right there. Sorry about my phone, you guys. It's going crazy. Okay. So I've pretty much covered up all the tape. So then, like on some of these larger flowers, um, I'm going to get my glue. And I'm just going to go back and kind of add some... Add some more flowers just right on top of them in the centers. See? So cute. And then some of these little, these little teeny dinky ones right in the center. Let's put a pink one right there. Put a little teeny teeny one on that. I'm going to find one with some glitter on it. There we go. Let's see. Actually, I kind of like this one on there. It has a little pearl in the center that I, I put in there last night. I was playing around with this... Um, Oh, what's that thing called? Uh, um, back in the day, you could order it off the television um, to do uh, <clears throat> rhinestones. Um, oh, what is that thing called? To add rhinestones to things. 
a bedazzler. <laughs> I have an old um, bedazzler. Oh, look. There's a little butterfly in there. That's so cute. I'm adding that right there. Okay. And so then just on, you know, some of these, some of these little tiny flowers or some of these like medium sized flowers, I'm adding a little teeny one in the center. Okay. So that's, that's about good, I'd say. And then I thought, well, it was really, I really like these ones that have like the little rhinestones or little pearls in the center. So I dug out my stickles. I have not used this stuff, literally. It's been probably two years since I've used this stickles and it's still good. Like if you store it upside down like that with the, with the cap down, um, it's fine. So I'm just adding little tiny bits of, this is a gold stickles in the centers of these other little flowers. And I thought, well, you don't have to add one to every single one, but then it's like, well, why not? You know, might as well could add different color stickles too. I mean, I have a whole bunch of different ones, but kind of like this gold, add a little bit bigger one on that one. Anyway, <laughs> so this is my little flower garland tape, I guess. Uh, flower garland washi tape. Okay, and then <clears throat> super easy to use. Um, see, guys, I went crazy. I made a whole bunch of them last night. So then to use this, you would just kind of go in between two flowers and just, you know, just tear it or even cut it with the scissors, you know, since they're all overlapped. Um, you shouldn't have too much trouble with the, you know, the tape sticking out at the end, at the ends, you know. So, and I thought it would be kind of cool also to um, maybe even, you know, like maybe even just spray paint one and, you know, spray paint it a solid color or something. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, I went crazy, made a whole bunch and I feel like I haven't even put a dent in the paper flowers. So I have to make a gazillion more. It's a good thing I ordered more tape. Um, I ordered a bunch more tape, matter of fact. So I'm on a roll. Um, so I don't know where exactly I'm going to use these. But uh, so some of them I didn't put leaves on, see. Um, I don't know where I'm going to use them or how I'm going to use them exactly, but it's fun to, to just kind of have it prepared and ready to go, you know? So then I was like, okay, maybe it would be fun to do this same kind of thing, do that same sort of thing, um, but using ephemera like different because I've got all these little just like all these little paper things you know tons of little labels that I've cut or you know stamped and cut I could cut up some little bits of these excuse me more postage stamps let me put the the stopper on my glue um little labels different labels um, even just like some small envelopes and all these little tags, little pictures, little photos, little tickets, and then, you know, this box of all these little paper things, you know? So I thought I would just do, I don't know, I'll just see, see if I can, uh, see if I can use up some of that stuff on some washi tape. So I'm just going to pull out a couple little photos 
these a lot of these are family pictures that I've scanned and reprinted except for that guy I don't know where that guy came from is that the Tim Holtz thing anyway so just some little just some little tiny images there's a little house so, I mean, so to print little tiny images like this, um, they, these are printed on the contact sheet setting on my printer. So if you can find that in the size images that you want to print, um, contact sheet is what these, these were. So I think it prints like 32 images per page, and that's on my... Uh, on my um oh, what is that the brother printer I think they all I think all printers do that right anyway so let's just let's just try one I haven't done this with ephemera yet with different little bits of ephemera but I want to see how it works so I mean it it can't it can't not be cool right like it's got to be sort of cool so I'll just take some random little like tickets. Um, there's a little price tag. This is the hard part. It's like choosing what to use. Uh, oh, this is a little book page. That could be cool. And I might wind up having to glue some stuff on here too. I don't know. Some of these little price tags <clears throat> or uh, like price labels. I don't know what they're called. Um, just you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm talking about, you guys. Might as well add some more postage stamps, too. Little ticket. Kind of add it. Not perfectly straight. Add a little ticket over here. Some of the Tim Holtz ephemera stuff, you know, like from those collections that you can buy. And there is some teeny tiny little stuff in here too. Here's a little ration stamp. I could fit right in there on that little tiny bit of glue or tape. There's another ration stamp. see some green stamps add some green stamps it's another another ticket um, labels let's add let's add a little label here kind of Push that down, get that to stick. Um, I scanned a bunch of those little number things, you know, that I got from that shop on Etsy. I can't remember the name of it. And um, anyways, I, I copied some. But I have like all these little, just little bits. This is a little flower. Gosh, I need tweezers for this. It's like a little flower. I'll stick it on there. Um, little number N. So you're picking up what I'm laying down here, right, guys? 
just all of this just random little stuff and make make your own washi make your own designs let's see let's add this postage stamp there it's a little piece of um, marbled paper I'm just gonna stick it on there um, I could add just like a piece of just a piece of one of these um, like Monopoly money another little little tag I want to get one of these images on here this is almost like making clusters right let's see I'm gonna stick it down right there almost just like making little clusters oh I love these um, I have a bunch of these little like different little tags that have strings on them so I don't know I was thinking like to kind of just tuck that string around behind something else and maybe I can maybe I can glue it down or something but um man that glue that tape is pretty strong like it like that's stuck there now it's it does not want to come off so but I'm gonna leave the string on there some of these other little tickets so, oh, what I was going to say is, <laughs> sorry guys, I know, I get, I get sidetracked super easy. Um, people ask me all the time, like, where did you get all that stuff? Or where did all the stuff in that box come from? And whatnot. And it's like, I don't know. I, I can't tell you. Like, I, I don't honestly know. It just, it's just a collection of stuff that this kind of like started out as my um, cluster box you know back in the day I used to just have all of this stuff like sorted out into little like little compartments and um, you know so when I was making whoops when I was making clusters I could sort of just pick things so now I'm just gonna add a couple little items on top um, you know could add some little Tim Holtz flowers too maybe another little price tag or something anyway I can just go back in and add little tiny things if I want to oh there's a little piece of um, tape so if you have little bits of tape that are exposed <clears throat> it's a good idea I would say I mean I don't know I'm not a professional but um, I would say it's good to try to cover as much of the tape as you can and if you can't then um, come back in and maybe just dust it like get a little bit of baby powder or even just cornstarch with a little brush and just brush over anything any of the tape that's exposed um, so you can uh, so it won't collect uh, lint and stuff oh there's a that's pretty cool I like that <laughs> I sometimes when when I use ledger paper and stuff if I'm gonna throw any of it away or whatever I always go through and I tear off the numbers before I 
I know, I don't throw away ledger paper very often, you guys, but every once in a while. Um, so anyway, so that's my idea. That's my, that's my thing. And see, you could use one of these little envelopes and just stick it on there somewhere. And then, um, you know, you could even insert other little items in the little teeny tiny envelopes. I know, uh, I wish, I wish I had one of those little, um, it's a paper punch that punches, um, an envelope. I don't know who makes it. I think it's, it might be, uh, Stampin' Up. I'm not sure. Anyway, but I want one of those. If I can find one, maybe I'll grab one. Because I love little tiny things. So, anyway, so I think I'm going to make about a gazillion more of these. And I might, you know, use my hot glue gun. And I could even add some flowers on here. Like, I think that would be really pretty. Um, but use my hot glue gun and add, um, you know, some other little charm type things like, you know, like I could even add like a little domino here or there, you know what I mean? Um, and just be careful about where I use it. I don't know. I mean, you can do whatever you want, right? And add some buttons. That's what I was going to say, buttons. I'd love to add some buttons on these. And this tape, um, this this double-sided tape, it just does not do well with the sewing machine. Like, it, it's so sticky that it really gums up the sewing machine. So you probably don't want to do that. But um, if you don't mind, you know, kind of gumming up your needle and, you know, cleaning it, you know, would it would look kind of cool to do a row of stitching down down the center of that so I don't know maybe I'll do it but anyways that's it for that's it for now guys uh, I am going to do some clusters and some fabric ones um, because I need to make some and <clears throat> I want to use them with the tape too so anyway that's it okay let me know what you think guys um, oh I gotta cut some pieces of this up and, uh, yeah, I will be back. And I still love you. And I'll be back sooner than later. Okay, bye for now.